What the F is this? Oh my god, this is gross. Feels right, it feels right, yeah. I can only say that it feels right. Feels right, it feels right, yeah. I can only say that it feels right. What up, fans? Hope you guys are having the most blessed day of your entire lives. I know, I know, my hair is blue right now. I want to explain so bad. It doesn't make sense to you right now why my hair is blue. What the hell happened? I was doing a let Instagram decide my day video for you guys when I got a notification from Canada Post that my mystery box that I ordered from the dark web has arrived. So I got so excited, continued to do my hair, but I forgot to record it. So I told you guys I would let you choose what I do for a day. So I have my friend Yachi right now. She's gonna dye my hair blue. Oh, okay. My mystery box just came in. So this video is gonna have to get postponed, but I still will dye my hair blue, but we'll continue the Instagram choosing what I do video later. But. My mystery box just came in and I have to go take care of that. And I told her to hurry up as quick as possible so I could run to Canada Post to pick up my package. I'm literally here. Right now, Canada Post. So, I, had, I bought this mystery box off the dark web. I saw a video that a YouTuber named Jude Summers did. He bought a mystery box off the dark web. I had a lot of creepy stuff in it, so I wanted to take a part of that. So, big shout out to Jude Summers. So, what I did was... I actually work in IT security and I have a few friends that have really good connections. My friend was actually able to get onto the dark web and order it off some random dude. I had no connection to the dude. All I did was pay the dude through my PayPal account. Now that I think of it, I think that might have been a bad idea because he knows my full name and address and everything. So the package is at Canada Post right now. I'm going to go inside, pick it up with you guys, and then we're going to go to my house and unbox it. You guys already know the dark web is some creepy ass stuff. I've never actually been on the dark web. Like I said, my friend took care of everything because honestly, I'll be straight up with you guys. I work in IT security and I'm afraid of the dark web. Like I'm afraid of anything that's not regular internet because I'm honestly afraid. Like I don't know what's on there and I'm afraid to look. So my friend was able to get onto a forum on the dark web and take care of all that. I guess I shouldn't be scared of the dark web because it's just, I think it's just internet that's not restricted. Um, but again, it's, it's really creepy. So anyways, I'm gonna go get that package for you guys. I'm super, super excited to open it up for you guys. You guys don't understand how long I've been waiting for this. It's been like almost two weeks and I'm just, ah, I just wanna get it for you guys. I know, blue hair, creepy, I know. Oh, I can't record in here. Okay guys, so I can actually record in this. I'm gonna put my camera back in the car. I'm gonna go get the box and I'm gonna come right back outside and show you guys the box. Okay guys, so here's the box. It's a way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It's actually huge and it just says please don't drop multiple times here um, it says up right here it says my name and my PO box address and all that kind of stuff so where where it was delivered to um, the box is really beat up like terribly beat up holy crap so the box is seriously seriously destroyed like holy crap that box took a lot of damage I guess wow my hair is so goddamn blue <laughs> oh oh by the way emma doesn't know my hair is blue right now so surprise emma i love you so we are gonna drive home right now unbox that box i'm so excited to see what's in there like it's a mystery box you don't actually know what you're getting you're just paying x amount of money um i actually paid 250 for this 250 canadian for the mystery box so i think that equals out to probably like 200 dollars us so i'm excited to see what's inside it and obviously guys of course before i get into that box be sure to smash that like button comment down below turn on post notifications subscribe and then follow me on snapchat instagram twitter and twitch let's go <sighs> okay we got the box right here is our mystery box from the dark web like i showed before you can see my name delivery this is my p.o box so i don't mind showing you guys this on the side it says please do not drop it looks like it was seriously dropped i'm super excited to open this up covered in tape and this is not i should not be opening this without protection I think we're okay to open the mystery box now. How do I begin to it? So, I managed to get this open. Are you guys ready to see what's inside? First of all, there's a ton of these things. I don't know what these are. They look like 
a lot of cardboard gears. Ah! Don't touch it. Oh! Ew! We're gonna try to price out everything. As I pull stuff out, I'm gonna try to find the price for them down below. And we'll tally it up to see if I actually get my money's worth out of this. Ew. I'm keeping my mask on, I think. Um, so it's a shoe. Uh, Timberland. We have a Timberland shoe. One Timberland shoe. Just one shoe. Our first object is literally one shoe. Okay. Not what I was expecting. Um, what is this? Some sort of strap. I think, or a piece of rope. Whatever this is. Don't even know what the hell this is. Is this like half a belt or something? What would you use this for? I don't know. What the F? What the hell is this? Guys, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's this little green, I think it's a syringe. It feels like a syringe. Okay, we're gonna be very, very careful opening up this syringe because I don't know what the hell it's in here so I'm going to be very very careful what the F is this what the hell is this is it like a oh like a tissue dispenser. I think it's a tissue dispenser or a tea bag. Oh, I think it's like a tea bag thing. So I guess, how do you put your tea in here though? I think you put your tea in here. Maybe is this guy from like Eastern Europe? Is this some like insane way to steep your tea or something? Because I guess you somehow put your tea in here and then dip it in. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know why it comes in this though. I guess for on the go carry. Or maybe you use this to stick your tea in, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna put it with the shoe though. Whatever this is, uh, if you guys know what this is, comment it below, cause I'm honestly, ah, I dropped it. I'm confused, I don't know what it is. Um, okay, what's, oh, okay. We have a bag. Ew. What is this? There's like blue liquid. Can you guys see this? Let me move the box out of the way. But there's blue liquid. I don't know if you can see. There's like a hint of blue liquid in here. Um, and some sort of solid object thing. In the Ziploc bag. I'm gonna open up the Ziploc bag. Guys, I can't stress this enough. Don't do this at home. Um, okay. I have my gloves on, that's why we're doing this. But it's like a rag. It's dipped in a liquid. Ew! Ew! It's underwear! It's underwear! It's underwear that's leaking a blue liquid, ew! Oh! That's gross. Oh, my hands are all wet. I, have, I don't have any paper towels off here. Oh my God. This is gross. Oh, it's all over. Guys, the freaking wet underwear is all over my, I have, to I have to sanitize my entire room now. That's disgusting. Next thing in the box is this. There's two things left, I think. There's another bag in here, but this is the next thing in the box. Uh. I'm gonna use this to wipe up the freaking blue liquid. Open this up here. This is. What the hell? Guys! It's a laptop! I, oh. It's a deconstructed laptop. This laptop is literally in pieces. Um. I think there's a mother, a hard drive there, or a motherboard. The charger, 
and what looks like a battery. I'm afraid to take it out of the thing just because last time I took something out of the thing it leaked everywhere but you guys can see. Laptop, um, this is a circuit board here. You guys can see the cooling thing I think, I think that's the fan. Um, it's pretty cool. I guess the laptop, I'm gonna try to Google what kind of laptop this is after I edit. As I edit, I'll, I'll Google what kind of laptop this is and I'll find out for you guys. It's a Dell though, it says Dell. So it's a Dell laptop. Um, I mean, it's not really great because it's a Dell laptop, so there's that. But it's pretty cool that we got a laptop out of this. This makes up for the dirty underwear. And there's one more bag in here. It's a small bag. Oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, there's two things left. There's this bag and some sort of goggle. I'm not putting that on my eye. But there are these little goggles. I don't know what these are for. I think maybe for a sunbathing. So I, I'm assuming whoever sent us this came from somewhere hot then because they're sunbathing, I guess. I don't think... <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Guys, this is the last thing I found in the bag. I am not taking any of this out of the bag. I don't even want my fingerprint on whatever any of this is. I don't know what this is. And I'm not gonna make any assumptions on camera. Whoever's watching, FBI, if this is you, I don't know what this is. It was shipped to me. But there's a lot of little pills, but there's two larger pills in this bag of little pills. Can you guys see the two? There's one big pill there and then the other big pill is right up here. So there's two large pills inside a bag of a whole bunch of little pills. This is super, super freaking me out, guys. Super, super scary. Uh, I don't know what this is. I'm honestly straight up, I'm gonna throw all this away. I don't wanna keep any of this. So it's all getting tossed in the trash, to be honest. Like, I'm being straight up with you guys 100% honest, it's all getting tossed in the trash. Because this is freaky as hell, and it's freaking me out. Like, I don't like the idea of having this stuff here. Um, I don't know whose underwear that is, whose shoe, whose laptop, and what these are. So I want no part of this. Um, and, yeah. And to show you guys this is legit, I'm, I'm gonna go show you guys right now my, my laptop screen that shows the, the PayPal transfer to a guy named Damien Dark. I know that's a character from Arrow, but that's literally what his username online was. So again, I'm gonna show you guys a PayPal transfer now to Damien Dark to show you guys that this was legit. All right guys, so this is in fact my PayPal. You can see right there. Uh, you see right there, Damien Dark. That is who I bought the box off of. I have my hands covering the screen there because that shows my credit card information. So anyways, you can see that is a transaction right there made on July 4th, the day after Jude Summers dropped his video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to drop a like, comment below, turn on post notifications, subscribe and follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter and Twitch and let me know what other kind of videos you want me to see. Why am I still holding these? Why? I am going to get rid of this sh because I want none of this around me right now. And let me know what other videos you guys want to see. If you guys want to see more videos kind of like this, I will do it um, if it's requested. So let me know down below. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Peace.